Hello, my name is Scott McAfee. I'm the sales manager for Compact Tractors for Agco in Australia. And today we're just going to have a walk around on some of the features of the, the great little compact tractor, the Massey Ferguson GC1715. So this compact tractor is ideal for hobby farmers, uh, for landscapers uh, and residential contractors. This is a 24 and a half horsepower tractor and as you can see the operator platform is very nice and open, easy to reach, very ergonomic. Everything with this machine is colour coded as far as the orange levers are to do with the drivetrain, yellow levers are to do with your power takeoff and your grey levers with your hydraulic systems. The machine itself is a, is a two range hydrostatic tractor with a forward and reverse pedal, uh, which is a very handy feature. Now we have this machine is on ag tyres, so they're quite a, a wider than non-aggressive ag tyre, but they've got enough grip in order to get up steep hills. Um, it is available in industrial, with the industrial tyre, and also a turf tyre if, if the machine is purely on ground care applications. As you can see here, we have a 60 inch mower deck, which is renowned for having a very high blade tip speed. If you've got a very high blade tip speed, that gives you a beautiful finish. So this machine produces a quality finish if you want to use it in and around the house or groomed gardens, or if you want to use it for out in the paddock, you could use a slasher on the back of it. We've got the 2400 self-leveling standard loader. It's also available with a four-in-one bucket. Uh, it's got a lifting capacity of 280 kilograms which will lift pretty much anything around wood bark, uh, sand, sand and soil, all those little jobs around your property um, that make life easier. It's also got a very robust front axle. So when you're operating a front end loader, you've got to have a strong, strong enough front axle to, to handle that front end loader. Also, the hydraulic flow rate is an excellent hydraulic flow rate in terms of it gives you a very responsive operating machine. So this is a great little Great little tool to have on this machine. Let's have a look under the bonnet and see what drives this little beast. We've got a three cylinder diesel engine, a very torquey engine, which means it develops its horsepower at relatively low RPM. So at 2000 RPM, it's producing its maximum horsepower, which is not a lot of RPM and not a lot of wear and tear on the engine and not a lot of noise around the operator's ear. This tractor has got a three point linkage and power takeoff. So for operating implements, uh, you've got a lifting capacity of 540 kilograms at the ball ends. So all those little odd jobs are all equipped to be handled with this little machine. There's going to be jobs where you don't want to have the front end loader on the, on the actual tractor. So if you've got a lot of mowing to do, you're not going to be wanting to run around with the front end loader on bouncing around. So what we can do is we can take the front end loader off. So I'll just run through the steps on how we do that. First of all we've got a chock which stops your hydraulics from lowering down when you're working underneath the bucket. Most important feature. Then we've got our stands here which are plugged in here. Lower the, the front end loader down onto the ground. We've got two pins, one on the side, pop out and unplug your hydraulic hoses and back away. And it's as simple as that. There's gonna be jobs required where you don't want to have the mower deck underneath the machine so you've got a bit more clearance. So the mower deck has cutting height from 30 mil to 120 mil, but say you're wanting to run a slasher or something in the, in the paddock more so, then we need to remove the deck. To remove the deck, simply slide off the PTO shaft and you've got four brass spring-loaded pins. Clip them out and simply slide the mower deck out from underneath. 